Hey YouTube, what is up for everybody? This is your homeboy, Seth Jones. Before, I'm doing something different today in a video. I'm doing some cleaning. My house kind of needed it a little bit. Uh, always, when you get ready to cook, always clean your area up. That way it's not really that messy. Um, that's the only thing that I can think of to tell you is you don't want to eat off dirt. No, we're you don't want to eat off dirt. Um, that's how the hygiene spreads. That's how um, food particles, like germs that you don't need in your food that you are cooking to make you sick. So always clean your area wherever you are cooking, and you know you just gotta keep your area clean. Um, and germ free, you know, that's the thing, you know, I'm not germophobia, I don't care about germs, but, you know, I don't want extra food particles in my food when I'm cooking, so. Monte is looking at my Mountain Dew this morning, um, I'm out of soda, actually, I'm gonna have to go to the store later on and get some, but I might make some coffee later on. Um, another thing is, never, never, ever, ever, Mix pre-workout with coffee. I mean, I've tried it, and it, it, it tastes nasty as fuck. And I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna have to some breakfast so we'll get hungry this morning. I have my house some fried bologna. I don't know yet. And plus, when you're doing dishes, always make, your, make sure your sink, always make sure your sink is clean before putting dirty clean dishes in, or dirty dishes in, no matter what, because you don't want to wash them fill. If you have a little area to put your dishes in and stuff, like on the cabinet, you're using a dish drainer to do it. Because I'm over here this way, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my oven. So I had steak the other night, and the night before after that, I had uh, pork chops. All right. Usually I get the cheaper kind of bottle, but I decided well, I'm gonna go big on soap. That way it'll last me a while. Because I, you know, I get tired and I have to go to the store every time. Buy two, two little bottles of soap because they run out so quick. So I just said smart. I bought one big one. It equals three little bottles all together. And plus, still, you know, they're like five bucks at Dollar General. Um, you go to Walmart, you're paying like six dollars for them. A dollar extra more. And that's why I 
So you go somewhere else where you get the cheaper price. So and, that, and that's the thing, you know, Dollar General starts going around all over all over the place. Um, Walmart sometimes I'm not dissing Walmart. I'm not dissing Walmart's company. You know, I like Walmart. I like to shop at Walmart and stuff like that. I'm not dissing their company. But, you know, they can't make their prices a little lower than, than what Dollar General is. But, you know, they're trying to compete with the competition. So, I go to Dollar General and buy my food items and go to Walmart and that extra buck. So, sometimes you just gotta use your head when you're doing a little bit of shop. And the sad part of it is, it's the same brand. The sad part of it is, it's the same brand that you're buying, but they're just selling it for an extra buck in the store. So, that, like I said, they're just wanting the money. And they're trying to just get competition. Alright. This is how I did it first. I dug my... And then first... I always do my silver first. I put the glasses in there. Um, then I add my bows. And then what I'll do after my bows, I'll do my plates. And then I'll do my frying pan. Um, that's usually how much I have. Most of the time, I go cheaper way, cheaper out. If I don't want to do dishes. But, you know, if I feel lazy and don't want to do dishes, I'll use paper plates, you know. I don't feel like doing a whole lot of dishes. That saves on stuff. That saves on money. You can dispose the plate in the trash or whatever when you're done with it and then call it good. Um, Alright. I'm going to clean the bow out first. I know I said silver work first always, but... I usually do what's in the way and get it out of the way. If that makes sense. Buy some new scrubs. My old ones are starting to look like shit. You know, the only thing I hate about, only thing that I hate about Tupple, I don't know if you can see this, um, I'm going to turn on the light, where you can get some light. Um, like right in there, there is like a stain on the, on the Tupperware. I can never figure out how to get that shit off there. I use rubber soap, I use whatever, but I can never figure out how to use it, get it off there. And I've heard people tell me at work to use bleach. Well, I don't really like to use bleach in, in soap water. And even though it's the same thing, but some other reason bleach kind of makes my hands crack open more when using them. That's the reason why I don't really like to use bleach. But it is clean, but the stain, the rough stainness will not come off. Now, I want to ask you guys, 
Chiefs. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? You know, if you're all football fans and everything else, you know, you guys, you know, leave a comment and, and below, you know, on this video, you know, who's going to win the Super Bowl? The Chiefs or the Eagles? Me personally, I think the Chiefs are going to win, but the last game, you know, they played with the Bengals. They almost called it close, and they only won by three. So I'm kind of thinking on, on my team, and you know, I'm kind of I'm disappointed in Andy Reid on how he just kind of just, okay, just wings things, just kind of just wings things through, uh, game on the plays and you know he just you know on something new you know I'm not talk dissing the coach or anything you know he's a good coach or he's been like the best coach for the team the team uh Kansas City Chiefs I mean we have done some really 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 awesome plays for the Kansas City Chiefs and But it, it, it just seems different without Tyra, Tyra Hill there. You know, after last year, he, he went to, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the team he went. Oh, well, I can't think of it right now, but it, it'll go on me later. Um, we all know who he went to the team, to the other team. Uh, who he switched over, and let me know in the comments. I would like to know. Um, but uh, I think he went to the Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins, if I'm not mistaken. And. But, I'm not too for sure. I could be wrong. Uh, but I heard a lot of people. see where he's in there, you know, maybe, you know, because Mahomes is getting more money than what he is, you know, he's doing as good as Mahomes, and maybe they just didn't want to pay him what he wanted, and I guess they just said, oh, he just said, okay, you know, I'm going somewhere else and work you know, on a team, on a different team, and he just said, okay, I'm just going to better myself and be more okay. So it's just different now without him on a team. You know, he was like one of my best players that I'll, one of my best players that I liked on the on the Chiefs. Uh, the new guy that replaced him, uh, I can't remember his name. I have a hard time remembering certain names. I know Kelsey is a good player. And I know Mahomes. He's a good player. Um, But they have they have so many new members on the Chiefs. You can't hardly you can't hardly keep up with it. And, and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I really just don't care on who their names are. Long as long as they win, that's all that matters. But the two top players I do know is Kelsey and um, Mahomes. Um, everybody knows Mahomes. Uh, only thing that I don't like about Mahomes is that he don't give away the ball real quick. Um, I'm gonna give you an example. Imagine this knife is like a football. Imagine this knife is like a football. Well, he'll get the ball, hold it, 
and he'll, he'll like just pause and he'll just pause a little longer and you'll see other linebackers getting ready to sack him well everybody knows what he does if he just gets rid of that ball real quick he can you know make better judgment and better calls but he don't he don't want to get rid of that ball and that's the thing and that's the reason why I think they just need to come up with a new strategy on that play. And on what he does. But that's his thing. That's what he does. You know, he does it for his fans. Um, a lot of people look up to him as a person. Um, I heard he's a real nice guy. I heard he moved to Eldon, Missouri, somewhere around Eldon. Um, I think he bought a ranch. Which I don't know if he knows anything about farming, but if he owns a ranch, he better know what to do about farming. Because farming, I tell you what, I worked on a farm with Grandpa. Farming is hard work and, and everything. And I know about farming, and it, it's, it takes a lot of toll out of me. And, and he, he better know on what to do if he's, if he's gonna. Decide to become a farmer. I want to be hire some workers to take care of his ranch for me. Which, you know, that's the thing about celebrities. They're so freaking lazy. They don't want to do things for themselves. You know, they would have somebody do it for them. Do it, do it for them. And instead of going out and making their hair for them. So they would have, they would have, uh, Pay somebody to go do their errands for them. And to me, that's that's not the way to go. You know, I wouldn't care if I was famous or whatever. If I was, um, I would still go out in public. I mean, I would not be afraid of people coming up to me and asking for autographs. I would not, you know, I would not be afraid of them. And... You know, it's like, the only thing that I would be kind of more afraid of is if, you know, if somebody knew I had a lot of money, and like, let's say, let's say if I ever did become rich, and if somebody knew I had a lot of money and they tried to jump me, you know, for my money, then that'd be the only time I'd probably be afraid. But, because, you know, I don't really carry a whole lot of cash on me, you know, but I do carry my debit card. But the thing that is, is that, you know, that's the only fear that I always get, you know, when I walk, walk anywhere, because just to make sure, you know, I don't get jumped watching my surroundings and everything else. But, you know, you never, you never can be afraid of going outside, no matter where you're at, where you go. Uh, you know, not every day somebody can get jumped. But you never know. There are people out there that are jerks. There are people out there that are cool. Um, and everything else. That's the thing, you know, it's like you can't always live in fear, you, know? you can't always live in fear of, you know, somebody's going to do harm to you, you know, and me, I, you know, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go, that's how I look at it, but if somebody's going to do harm to me, I'm going to do harm to them, on back to them, because, like I said, I'm a fighter. You know, I fight for my life, I fight for my love for others, I fight for my freedom, and I also fight for my home, my car, you know, if anybody would try to steal, break in, or whatever, I would fight to protect myself. And that's state law, you know. You should be able to protect yourself without freaking 
going to jail yourself. And but now the laws have changed. You know, if you go if you get in a fight with somebody, then you go to jail too. So I always try to avoid fights because I'm like I said, I'm not really. It's like I'm not really. Uh, I want to say a fighter, but when it comes down to it. You know, protecting the ones I love, the ones that are around me. Um, if I'm with anybody, or even my neighbors, you know, if I see something going on down in that little area where the people aren't supposed to be, then yeah, I go check it out. Like last night, there's a church down here across where I live, down beside me where I was living at. There was a black truck with ten windows, and they was sitting down there for a full hour, and then they had their lights on bright. So I got up, got my coat on, turned on my porch light, went out to my car, turned on my car. That the guy's getting ready to go down here. They finally left, and. And people do that just to be up to no good because on the road that I live on, I've heard I've heard rumors that there there's a lot of, lot of drug tra trafficking on my road, um, especially at night. Um, I kind of saw, when I got back in, I turned around real quick, I heard a car coming and I saw him had his dome light on, his dome light on, which, you know, obviously, um, he was doing something illegal in his car on Wild Drive. So, um, I know there's a lot of activity going on on this road, and it kind of, it kind of sucks that I live on a road like this, but that's the reason why it gives certain areas, certain areas a bad name, and everything else, uh, stressing me out sometimes I drink just to, to relieve stress is that is that being dirty no that's just you know trying to unwind trying to de-stress and after a hard day I use I usually use it for like Some workout, 
Uh, I know alcohol don't do anything for you when you're drinking, you know, when you're doing workouts. But there's a lot of people out there that I know that they are in the best shape of their lives. And they drink. And but as long as you just don't make it the habit. You know, I don't make it the habit every night. I mean, if, if I do drink every night, I have like, on a work night, I have about two, um, two, two beers a night, sometimes three, but I don't do more than that. Um, Cause beers, beers now actually starting to get a little expensive too. You know, it's like I remember Coronas used to be Coronas. Uh, that's the beer I like to drink. I know that's the beer that um, Ben Diesel likes to drink. He's also one of my other actors I do like. Yeah. They should have But you know, I see where the fans are at, I see where where they're wanting it and wanting to go with on the That's the only thing about Brian Haynes. 
Cooking pans, I don't like about that sometimes when you cook it, they leave all kinds of stains on them. There you have it. I know I probably made this video a little longer than I should have. Um, but it's just like I said, you know, that's how you do your kitchen. And I missed a spot right there. Um, that's how you do your kitchen. I know the only thing I have to do is wipe my cabinets off. And I got one more cup in there I need to wash. And that's the cup I take to work. Um, but other than that, um, this is how you clean the kitchen pretty much. It's pretty much easy, simple, direct, and basically just put them in the sink. Um, I do whatever goes in the way, but most people say do the silverware first, get those out of the way. Um, then you do your glasses, then you do your bowls, then you do your plates. But since they was on top, the bowls and the glasses, I figured to go ahead and do those first then the silver, and then I did my plates, and I did my bowls, and then I did my pan. But the only thing I don't like about frying pans is that if you let them sit for a while in the sink, they have a hard time getting clean, um, cleaned off. Um, that's the reason why I don't really like to cook a whole lot. It's because of that reason only. Um, it's because of the pans. You know, they get a lot of food on, on them. So... It's like there you have it. This is basically how you clean clean your kitchen later on on the train. I'll probably make you a workout video. And this is a different kind of uh, pre-workout. I, I was using rice um, pre-workout, the newest one that was out on the market. And um, I went back to the Buck brand pre-workout. Um, it's called Walk. AF, um, I guess woke as, I don't know what a, the AF means on it, but it's a new tropic, new, new tropic woke, I guess AF means as fuck, I don't know, but it says game changing formula prime ingredient. On the back, and they give you what it has uh, in the ingredients on what it has in it to get your workouts done. Um, a lot of people will say pre workouts are bad for you, but you know, if you're tired, you know, after a late night, or if you're tired after a long day at work, and you need an energy boost to get your workouts in, um, that's the way to go. And a lot of people say, oh, that's cheating. Well, look at these people that use freaking steroids. That there is more safer. You're not injecting something you don't know into your body. That there is going through a blood flow getting out of your body. So steroids, it, it stays in your body. So... A lot of people say your 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 muscles when when they see me at work and they, they always tell me your muscles are fake and I'm like how are my muscles fake you know I, I, on my year on my life I worked hard on my muscles and I worked hard on my arms and my shoulders my chest and I'm starting to do my core I'm get, I'm getting strong on my legs now. 
Um, trying to do more core um, workouts because I'm trying to get rid of this to match everything else. But core, it's a little tougher because of the stuff, of the bad stuff I do to it. Like drinking, you know, that's a lot of fat me. Um, and, and Mountain Dew, you know, that's a lot of sugars there too, coffee too, you know. But I gotta have my caffeine in the morning. Um, that's the only time I drink it. But, as like I said, this is how you clean your kitchen. Make sure everything's all cleaned off. And, and you have a little spot on your cabinet. All you do is, that's a, a vitamin pill. I'm just gonna throw it away because I don't know what's on it. Just scrub it down really good. If you have any you know, like coffee stains. this little spot that I missed. Alright. There you have it. How to do dishes when you don't know how to do dishes. Basically, pretty plain and simple. It only takes about 20 minutes to do. Uh, if you're not making a YouTube video with me, um, I just made this video a little longer than I should have, but I had a lot to get off of mine. I thought something different to talk about. I'm just rambling on. Um, I don't really know what else is new. Um, other than that, stay in shape, stay in active, and you know, trying to be healthy, you know, as much as possible. Um, because like I said, I don't want to wind up being sick again. Um, no. Being sick is not no fun. Um, you can't go to work. They have a new rule now that at my job that if you are sick, stay at home no matter what. Because um, if you go in the work with my crap, you're going to end up getting sick. So that's another new rule that they're going to have. You know, that's fine by me, you know. If I'm sick, you know, I'll just call in and tell them, hey, you know, I'm sick. But I'm not sick, so thank God for that. And, um, like I said, just try to eat healthy, keep your areas clean around your house, and, um, uh, go from there. And that's the only thing I can tell you. Um, I'm probably doing a lot of cleaning today, my house kind of needs it. Um, I usually save my cleaning for the weekends, so I don't really like to clean during the week. Um, I should have started cleaning during the week, now I have free time to do whatever on the weekends, but it, it is what it is. So I said, this only takes about 20 minutes to do tops, just depends on how quick you are, and if you don't still eat that around. Um, usually I like to listen to music while I'm working out. I mean, I'm working out for a lot of But since I've made a video uh, for you guys, I can't listen to music in the background. Um, unfortunately, due to the fact that um, YouTube has music copyright claims in your music. So, uh, it's just like I just can't do it. And even though I want to, but... So, um, 
there you have it. Seven mile four, seven mile off. God bless. Thank you for all the new subscribers that's come to my channel. And if you are new, if you don't know who I am. I am seven mile four coaching on fitness. So like I said, I'm teaching you how to clean a little bit of the house, do a little bit of housework. And I'm trying something different from the channel too. I'm trying to do different things for my channel. Um, stuff like that, you know, besides just martial arts, you know, learn, you know, trying to teach you guys some meaning in life on being an adult. So, you know, when you get out in the real world, you know, your mom and dad's, if you know, if you're still living with your parents, your mom and dad's, or if you're living with your grandma, grandma's not going to be around for the longest time, you know, you just got to start learning how to do things on your own. And learn how to learn how to survive on it, and that's the only thing that I can tell you. The lot of says is how you clean the kitchen, sit on the floor, sign on, paint our trade smart, do your research, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.